and great to be back in South Shield. Well, look, I'm obviously sad to see him go as my brother, and I think it's sad for him because he has real attachment to South Shields. It was a big decision, difficult decision for him, but he's got this prestigious job in America running one of the world's most important refugee charities, and I think he's really looking forward to doing that. I'm delighted that we've got Emma Lulbuck as our candidate. I think she's fighting an incredibly strong campaign, born and bred in South Shields. I think she'll do a fantastic job. She'll be the first woman MP uh, in South Shields, 170, 180 years. So, uh, and she's talking about the things that matter to people in South Shields, jobs, living standards, how, the, how you improve the town, how you put the town first, and uh, I think she'll make a great MP. The thing is you take nothing for granted in by-elections. I've learned that in my two and a half years as Labour leader. That's why we're fighting a vigorous campaign, fighting it very, very hard. I think she's getting a good response on the doorstep, but we're determined to go out and fight for every vote, and that's the way it should be. You know, if I was Prime Minister, what's the first thing I'd be doing? Getting our young people back to work. Tax the bankers' bonuses, get our young people working again. It's totally doable, this, if you have the political will. And, you know, I think we do have a big challenge, which is to convince people the country can change. Many people will be seeing the failure of this government and thinking, can anything really change? My answer to that is emphatically, yes, it can. I'm determined to prove that.